right, I'm going to show you how easy and simple this edible plant app is to use. It's so amazingly elegantly simple. It's beautiful. You can take this with you when you're walking around the neighborhood and you want to know what a certain plant, if it's edible or not, what purposes it might have, if it's good for you, what medical reasons, health reasons you could use it for. So anyway, you've got three different categories on here. You've got category, diagnosis, and A to Z. So let's click on category. Let's start with the basic stuff here. Let's say you've got like berries, daisy-like flowers, dandelion-like flowers, desert plants. Yeah, it's even got desert plants. Flowers, food plants, grasses, herbs, non-edible plants, seaweed, trees, umbrella flowers. So here we clicked on trees. You can scroll through different trees. If you see, it shows you what the bark looks like, the leaves, the fruit, the nuts, whatever it is that it has. You click on it, and it tells you all about it. And it doesn't just tell you the description of the plant, it also tells you what it has been historically used for, for medicinal, for health reasons. Let's say you have a health condition. You click on diagnosis. Well, here we have all, everything from A to Z. You've got everything from A to Z. ADD, acne, allergies, Alzheimer's, anal itching, ant repeller, anxiety, you name it. Let's say you have arrhythmia. You click on that, here's the plants that are good for arrhythmia. Let's say you have, uh, you want to increase athletic performance. You click on that, it'll tell you the plants that are good for that. Let's say you know what a certain plant's called, but you want to verify that, you know, what it looks like. Well, then you just click on it and it'll show you what it looks like and again what health conditions it's good for. So you can go back and forth between the category, the diagnosis, and the A to Z. Anytime you see something that looks familiar to what you have in your area, you can instantly find out about it. There's almost 2,000 images. It's a 400 page book. Sure you can carry the book with you. It has the same pictures and everything, but it weighs two pounds. This thing is heavy. Whereas the app is in your cell phone. It doesn't weigh anything other than your cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a really cool thing to have anytime you're walking around anywhere. It's a great survival tool. It's good for health reasons. It's good for just fun. It has most of the stuff that the book does, minus the introductory stuff and some of the more in-depth stuff, but this is what you want when you're traveling and you're lightweight and you just want to get right to it and you want to know what these things are good for, if they're edible or not. And as you can see here, it'll say non-edible next to it. If it's not edible, it'll say careful next to it. If, you know, you got to be a little bit careful, and if it doesn't say anything, then you're good to go. And there's even a category on non-edible plants. It's really in-depth. It has lots of information, and it's real easy to use. So when you're walking around, just take it with you. Hold it up to some plants and learn. Learn about nature. Learn about how you can have free food and medicine from your neighborhood. It's pretty amazing and you'll really start to appreciate and love nature even more. You can get both the iPhone and the Android version, of course. You can get it at the App Store, iTunes, or Google Play, or even better, how about this? Just go to ediblepplantapp.com.